Okay, we're settled in, you got the coach level, got the slides out, now comes the part where you have to do the hookups. And one of the hookups is very important is the sewer hose. And a new product from Beach Lane, which is sent to us that we're going to evaluate, and that is the, what I call the slinky, except, but it is a sewer hose support, which most RV resorts require, and even some states require. So let's go outside and take a look and get it all set up. Hi there. Welcome to our channel, Pocahontas Adventure. Join me and my wife, Debbie, along with our three children, Brandon, Shannon, and Dylan, as we document our family adventures and provide some tips and hacks that we learned along the way. And if you like what you've seen, please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. We would definitely appreciate your feedback. For watching. Ooh, Texas heat. Heat in the next day wasn't too bad. It's only 109. I said we'll take that. But a new RV resort here in Alvin called Alvin RV Resort. Here, take a look at the hookups. Now you walk up, you go ahead and try to hook up your sewer hose to the drain. Uh, first thing you're going to need is this what I call a slinky. But anyhow, you see we have an elevated drain right here, about three or four inches, and we need to come up and hook into our waste drain right here and near sewer horse support so that's where we're going to test today oh man it is hot again here in texas today the heat index is 109 i waited until it cooled down a little bit to go ahead and, and show you what we got from beach lane this is a 20 foot sewer support um i call it slinky we'll talk about that later uh, by the way who remembers slinkies when the toy like this I need to get I need to get one. Actually, my actually my kids have one somewhere in a box. But uh, remember, those are great toys growing up. And uh, if you had a Slinky, put a comment below and talk about what your favorite thing to do with it. I remember um, going to my aunt's house and let it go down the stairs. Since we lived in Florida, we didn't have stairs; in a single floor. But going to my aunt's house and let it go down the stairs that was a great thing. But let's get to the Slinky here or the sewer support. Beach Lane sent us a 20 foot sewer support to test. And um, I want to get out of the box here. A few things I want to show you, of course, comes with instructions. Um, talks about uh, how to set it up. It's very interesting because the way you deploy this is a little different than what you do, some, like the side one right here. Uh, they have a very interesting way to deploy this particular unit, uh, simply the way that it is designed. It also has some feet, which we'll talk about in a second. Let me put this over here so it doesn't blow away. It's nice to have a breeze today. But let's go get this out of the box. One, um, here are the feet they're talking about. We'll, talk about those in a second let's get this out of the box and hopefully the box won't blow away the neighbors stop what can you do right so many of you had this we've had this for many years this has worked very well this is probably our second or third unit uh, that we've had uh, these side wonders work extremely well we like the carry handle um, nothing wrong with this great design but Beach Lane took a look at this and said what can we do better by the way, speaking of that, besides better, what is the number one, I guess, issue or, I guess, fix that you do as an RV owner that everybody wants? That's probably not even the best way to, to phrase that. Hmm. How can I phrase that again? What does everyone want to do? That's it. Save space. Let me turn these sideways. Remember the old TV shows talking about one doesn't look like the other. What do you see is different between these two units? Let me put it this way. The 20 foot sewer hose from Beach Lane is 30% smaller, smaller footprint. The way they put this together in the proprietary patent pending nesting design allows them to get, still get 20 foot out of a sewer hose support in 30% less space. Let me say it again. 30% less space. I think that's huge. Another thing about this is quite interesting. Like I said, we'll get to the feet here in a second. Let me put these down. Comes with a nice Velcro strap, holds them together. Let me pull this off. That probably sounded good on, on the microphone, didn't it? Look how this looks like the old slinky. Remember this? I think that's pretty cool. But it uses nylon pins. It's designed for the U.S. as far as our harsh area, as far as temperature-wise, heat in the summer, cold in the winter. 
Uh, do not use metal pins because those tend to rust. And the next thing you know, you have instead of one slinky or one sewer support, you have three, right? They break in different sections. So use nylon pins to hold it together in this pet paint design. But also, you know, something different. You see the cup this way, and you see a cup this way. When the sewer support is in this configuration, I measure it goes about three and a half inches up to seven and a half inches on the slope, front to back, right? You turn it over this way, you can still use it. Now you go from four and a half inches to nine inches. So if you are one of those situations where the drain at your RV site, where you hook up your sewer hose is tall, you just flip it over. Now you have a nine inch sewer support instead of a seven and a half inch sewer support. I think that is a cool, cool design. Another challenge you have is when you go to a lot of these sites, especially here in South Texas where we are, or in Florida where I'm from, born and raised in Florida, we get a lot of rain. And a lot of rain occurs, I stuff the ground gets soft, one edge of the sewer support kind of slopes down, especially if you have water running through it. Next thing, the whole thing dumps over and your sewer hose is on the ground and your sewer support just folds up and I'm being bit by fire ants. Who hates fire ants? Unbelievable. <laughs> Anyhow, they came up with these little feet. These feet are designed to go on, snap right on the bottom, like this, and give you support on both sides. The great part about it is it works in either way. So it, whether if you want it in the standard configuration or the taller configuration, the feet will fit on either side and give you the additional support you're looking for when the ground is soft. Interesting story, when we were out in Big Bend National Park here in South Texas, uh, by the way, it's a long way from Houston. <laughs> the wind out there was crazy. You imagine there's nothing really to block the wind. And we, our biggest issue was the wind kept blowing over the sewer support and the hose. And every day you'd go out there at least twice a day and set it back up again. I think if we had these sewer support feet, I don't think we'd have that issue. So, Got out of the box. I think what we should do is go ahead and set it up. Okay, we talked about the features and benefits of this sewer support from Beach Lane. Now, the question that comes up a lot is, do you actually need one of these? The answer is yes. In most cases, RV resorts, campgrounds, parks have either rules that state you must have this, or it's actually by law, either by the state a regional or local government stating that all sewer support or all sewer lines must be supported off the ground, not laying on the ground like you see right here. So, yes, you need one of these. And having something that takes up 30% less space, I think is huge. So let's go ahead and get this thing installed. So the next thing you need, you need to go ahead and deploy this. First thing they recommend is go ahead and lay out your sewer line. Go ahead and connect both ends to the drain and to your rig. And the way Beach Lane recommends to deploy this particular sewer hose support is put it next to where you want it to run by the sewer line. Put your hand underneath, like you're cradling it. Okay, put this down, and when you do it this way, for example, it does not get hung up in rocks, other things like this. You just slowly let it deploy out like this. Look at this. Look how easy that is. You can control the angle and get it right where you want to. Then of course what you do is you then come behind there and go ahead and get it underneath your sewer line. Now the way it's designed to fit all three inch sewer hoses designed here that we use for all RVs. And um, I really like this. What are your thoughts? Put your comments below, we'd like to hear that. Now what do we really like about this besides the fact that you have two different heights, 30% uh, less space taken by using this unit? But the main thing is the Beach Lane products are made right here in the United States and the customer support is here in the United States. So if you have any questions, problems, etc., give them a call and uh, they'll answer right away. And on top of that, a lifetime warranty on this product or any of the Beach Lane products. I think that's huge. I'll put a link below that you can go ahead. If you want to check one of these out, go to the Beach Lane site or go to the Amazon site where they're advertised. Take a look at it. And if you feel you need one of these, go ahead and place an order and get one for yourself today. Thank <music> you.